Hi everyone, Deb here, and I am running behind for the final month of 2022's Jewelry Making Fun collab, which I'm the host of. Um, so this month, um, we are to use, our color is either turquoise and or metallics. We're, an optional challenge is to make a jewelry set, which I intend to do. And the second optional challenge is use pieces left over from a kit. So I went digging through my kits because I have a lot of unused kits. And I have um, pieces that have turquoise color in. They're not real turquoise. They're probably like magnets. I, I have two strands of these. Pretty as a peacock. Um, yeah. These are from February, March, 2021. So I want to use them up. And then I do have some beading wire. It's not turquoise, but it's in the kit. And I have some of these other pieces. Let's just dump them out. I don't know if I'll use them or not. I do have some crimp beads. Um, these are left from the Pretty as a Peacock mix, mostly, uh, that came in this kit. So, and then I don't think I'm going to use this. This is from my stash. It's one of the first things I bought, you know, our second things. And it was off an Etsy shop that I can't remember the name of right now, but it has like a peacock feather on it. It's a pendant with a silver back. I don't think I'm going to use that this time. So I'm going to try and primarily probably use these strands up and maybe some of these other beads like these or these or I love these um, and these these squares. So I don't know about these greens. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. And I have this whole strand of little beads. Um, they're more like denim blue color, so I might save them for another time. We'll, we'll see. So I just wanted to come on and show you what I'm going to be working with, and then I'm going to come back with finished pieces, hopefully. Okay, I am back. My set is a necklace and earrings. Here they are. This is a 16 inch extendable to eight, about 18. I still have to do a dangle on here, but I ran out of time. I'm still trying to decide what I want to put on the dangle. I hate, I could, I have another one of these, but I really hate to use that in the back of the necklace. So I don't know. I pretty much used the Jesse James, one of the Jesse James strands, pretty as a peacock, all the way to here. And then this was off of it also, um, but I put it hanging down instead. And then this was from the bead mix. This bead cap was a random bead cap on my table that I didn't know where it came from. And it was just laying there. And then these little turquoise colored how light I believe here and back here are from Michaels. They came out of this bag that I've had since 2012. These are um, teardrops that are top drilled and apparently I only counted that I had 10 teardrops and not all the little beads in between. So I used some of those little beads which look to be four millimeter to bring in a little more turquoise. I don't know if I'm 100% sure I like the um, having the, what do you call those, bugle beads back here. They I used up all the beading wire, uh, which was the dark lapis color, except for a little piece. Um, I don't know what I did with it. Oh, here. Hang on. I'll show you, just because. Um, it's about, I have about uh, four or five inches left, which I thought I could maybe do a, a bracelet with, um, with some chain attached to it or something, or a, a single, like a focal area and then a double strand in the back with some other beading wire. So I kept that. I also still have the, um, 
toggle clasp, but I want to use that to make another piece with that pendant that I have. I want to, I want to use that clasp with that pendant. And I still have another whole nother bead strand because I had, I think I bought one and then I got one free for some reason. That's ringing a bell. I don't know. Um, and this is what's left of the bead mix. The only things I used out of here are this bead. Um, and I thought there was a bead cap too, but no, I think this bead cap was my, I know it was my own um, from my stash. Okay, so this is just on an eye pin. And honestly, I had to do a simple loop because there wasn't enough room to do a wrap loop because this bead is so big. And then this is on a soft flex uh, ball head pin, which you've been seeing me use for different projects lately. I'm trying to use them up. Um, these rings are from, uh oh, hang on. <laughs> I believe they're from jewelrymaker.com. One sec. Yeah, they're called Link Silver Plated Copper Twisted Wire Link uh, Ring 17 millimeter. I have a few different, um, I have a lot of stuff from them. And then I just used, I had these two, um, I did put bead caps on. I did not use wire guardians this time. And those two bead caps, Stardust, I'm sorry, Stardust Crimp Covers is what they're called. Uh, we're from EE e. Beads, which is long out of business, and this was a sample they sent me in with an order way back when, probably 2012 or 13. And the chain um, I had in this little container, and I used it all, what I had left, 2.3 millimeter small cable. I had gotten it in 2012 at a place called Flower and Craft Warehouse which is now out of business and there were there was six and a half feet but i only had nine links nine links and seven links left and this is an open chain so i did use an 18 gauge uh, six millimeter jump ring to hook it onto these and also i used one um, in the back to hook the clasps on and the link to, and then this, I'll, I'll probably have another one. I might just wire wrap a, a, a dangle onto that. I don't know yet. Sorry if you can't see. It's just chained back there right now. But I want to do another little small drop back there. I just don't think I want to have a beautiful little crystal like that. So I need to go through my stash and see if I can find. I want to use like a dyed um, palette or magnesite. I don't. I maybe could use one of these, but I, ha I have to, I just, I might do that. I might use one of those. I don't know. They're a little big. I kind of want something smaller, I think. So we'll see what I can find. But um, now I have an empty container and a little bit of chain and uh, crimp covers out of my stash. I have a lot of them still, but, and I did use up a kit and I made a set. These were out of the Jesse James bead mix. These were out of my stash from Bead Box Bargains, and I just happened to have them out on my table from another project I did. I think the Smoky Quartz project, um, and two more of those Michaels beads on soft flex ball head pins, and the ear wires are from the Pretty as a Peacock kit as well. So I did use quite a bit that was either in the kit or with the strand related to the kit. This was from the kit and then some other things from my stash. So that's it. I'm going to lay this out so you can maybe see it better. I just love the colors and it does have turquoise. This is turquoise color. None of this is real turquoise. I do have some real turquoise, but that wasn't on the in the cards for today. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's it for now, and I will talk to you again very soon. Please go visit everyone else that's in the collab. Now, we are continuing this next year. On the 18th at noon Eastern is when we post, and we have a whole, uh, almost whole new um, 
color schemes and optional challenges, so it won't be exactly the same as this year. January might be similar to what this year was. Um, just to let people get started, I, I told them that um, if they want to make ahead, but then I changed it up for the rest of the year with input from uh, one of the participants anyway. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I have fun. I really like the colors in this, obviously. It's my turquoise. I love turquoise. So take care, happy holidays, and we'll talk to you again very soon. Bye.